happy Saturday. I am starting over with vlogging, so here we go. Um, don't mind the dogs. But today is gonna be a content day and a modeling day. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we are going to have some fun. I'm making my breakfast now. It's about 3.28 in the morning and we're starting at eight. Um, yes, I wake up early. Don't, don't hate me for it. I wake up early and I definitely have to foam roll my back out again. I fixed it a little bit. I can stand right now, but there's definitely a knot on the muscle and it's just not a fun time. But regardless, I'm gonna eat some breakfast and do some work and then we're gonna go model. I ate breakfast, I'm drinking some coffee. I'm gonna start making some notes for my podcast I have to record tomorrow. Um, and get my clothes all together. I have to leave in about two hours. But I'm excited. I've foam rolled my back like three times so far and it seems to have helped a little bit. At least the knot's not so bad. I can feel it. Like I'm putting my fist into it right now. And it's funny because the other side I feel nothing. Is it funny? No, it's not really funny. Also, the tiniest screw ever fell out of the back of my camera so like my little screen at the top is moving. I don't even know how to get that back in. Like it is so, so tiny. But no, <laughs> I love this movie. I'm watching Mamma Mia. I don't know if I said that. I think I said that. Maybe not. But I'm watching Mamma Mia while I do my stuff. And I love this movie. But I will catch y'all later as I get ready to go. So I have to leave in about an hour. So I'm gonna start getting ready. I steamed two shirts, one of my sundresses. Um, I have linen pants in the dryer because I'm hoping that works because I couldn't hang them up the right way to steam them. So, yeah, I'm going to foam roll my back one more time for sure because it seems to be helping, but I'm not quite where I want to be. <laughs> so there's that, but I have to fix my hair, put on some makeup, and it's supposed to be, I think right now, it is 50 degrees. And by the, when we start shooting, it's going to be... Yeah, it's gonna be 50. So I might start off in like jeans and a sweater and do like a cozy vibe on the beach at first. But yeah, I'm gonna pack my boots. I luckily have a bag that I got from TikTok shop that's like a travel duffel bag. So I'm gonna put my stuff in there. But I'll see you in a sec. So just finished foam rolling. I have my extra battery. That was a hodgepodge of a start. So I just finished foam rolling, I have my extra battery. I want more coffee, but I'm not gonna have more coffee because I don't wanna look bloated. And we're supposed to go to a coffee shop anyway. Now I have to figure out what I wanna wear, but I don't know what I wanna start with. Cause I didn't, like I knew it was gonna be cold, but I also like, um, I don't know what I wanna wear first. I think jeans and like my American flag sweater might work. I mean, because the linen pants are gonna be too thin. Let's even see if the linen pants turn out. Okay. They're still very wrinkled. So I might not bother with them. Or maybe I'll bring them and just not care that they're wrinkled. Option two, bring them and not care. <laughs> so let's go get Actually, my I haven't even looked at this bag yet. So I hope I, I mean, it was free. We'll see if I really like it. I picked the one I thought I was gonna like, so I do have to hurry up though. I'm taking way too long right now. This is honestly I think this is nicer than I imagined. Wow, I feel like a cool girl right now. Okay. Pop off TikTok shop. And it has Big bag. And, it, and it, um, 
Okay. This is this is amazing. This it this is quite literally. And it's so pretty. I'm so glad I went with the leather. Oh my god. Thank you. And I, so it has a little shoe compartment, which I'm gonna put my boots in. I'm big fan, big fan. TikTok shop might like take over Amazon. Amazon should be scared because, um, hello. And like my two little bags, okay. So linen pants going in. I'm definitely gonna put my cowgirl boots on the bottom. And like it comes. Guys, this is, and like. The... And I can. Okay, okay, camera stuff going in here. I'm gonna take, I have a battery, but that's in my car. Where's my extra battery? Okay, so camera battery. Yes, I just missed. Camera battery. Um, ponytail just in case. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm throwing this away, but I'm actually gonna keep it in case my clothes get wet. Smart, smart Jessica, smart job. So, I think I'm gonna start off in jeans and a sweater. I think I'm gonna do that. Cause it's chilly. And then that way I can change my top and my dog scratched the living bejesus out of my foot. But yeah. So I'm gonna get ready. Because I have to walk them too. So we'll see you in a second. So I'm gonna go with the comfy cozy right now. So this is what we're working with. I have wide leg pants on too. And this sweater. Because it's gonna be cold right now. And this is like such a hodgepodge of a video. I didn't need to get back into the swing of vlogging. But I just have to blow dry it like the wrinkles out of my hair and we're gonna put some makeup on but i'm not going crazy with makeup because i want this to be very natural and like i'm on the beach and like i don't really like makeup to begin with so here we go the only things that i will put on my face are fray products so i'm also um i work with fray and it's a very very natural line of like moisturizers, um, cellular water, sunscreens, night cream, like all of my skincare products come from Frey. So F-R-E with like an asterisk. And then the only makeup that I really care to use nowadays is Rare Beauty. First of all, I love Selena Gomez. Second of all, it feels amazing on my skin and I have very sensitive skin. So, let's go ahead and prep my face this is her primer and like it's just so weightless and it smells good and i just i don't know i'm very particular with what goes on my face mainly because of the fact that i have such sensitive skin but also because i don't really like makeup and i don't want makeup to feel super heavy on my face um so i need to pause that so yeah let's go Put my face on. One second. Oh, this stuff just feels so good. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup. It feels amazing. Love it. And it actually matches my skin. Versus some stuff doesn't match my skin. I have, like, I love this stuff. Like, it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything right now. And I love it. Because I don't like makeup. So, I have to get more of her stuff. I want her blush, but the one that I wanted was sold out when I got all of this. I'm also not the dab girl. Gosh, it like 
makes me so impatient when I watch girls do that. You have no idea. Like, I watch girls, like, dab their makeup on, and I'm just like, what are you... It lays better. It... If you're wearing... If you have the right makeup, in my opinion, then you shouldn't have to dab it on. Like, I dab this because I'm not, like, swiping it or whatever. But, no, if you have the right makeup on, you should be able to just, like, spread that crap around. But, like, even this. Like, it... It lays so nice on my face that I don't have to worry about... Debbie. Like seriously, I tried, I tried. I tried once and I was like, what in the holy heck? Like this is so annoying. How do people have the patience to do this right now? Like I cannot sit here and like tap my face a million times. And if I'm the only one that thinks that, I'm sorry if me putting on my makeup right now is making you cringe because you're a dab girl and you're like, it lays so much better. I'll get better makeup. That's my opinion, get better makeup. I love Cindy Gomez's stuff. Like, it's, I can't see, like, my pores. Like, it's just, it's so lightweight. If I could be, if I could be sponsored by any makeup company, it would be Cindy Gomez. Because she also has lupus, and I have lupus. And it's just one of those things where I'm like, I support everything about her. I think she's an incredible human being. And I love her. I love her, love her, love her. Always going to be a fan. Always will be a fan. I watched her cooking show. All the things, but I'll be right. This is where I'm at right now. I have to go fix my hair, but I think I want to walk the dogs first before I fix my hair. I'm actually pretty much all done. Pretty much all done. I got like 20 minutes till I gotta go. Rare beauty, love it, love it. My face feels actually really good. Um, I can't find my other ring, and I'm really upset because I don't know where it is. It's actually like really bothering me. But changed into my locket. I'm not wearing my watch. I'm wearing a very simple David Yerman bracelet that my mom gave me. My aura ring just because it matches. And I don't even know if I'm going to put in earrings. Because I can't find the pearls I like. So there's that. But I will catch you in a little bit. We are off to our first location. We're going to go to a couple places. But this first place we're going to go to, it's just really pretty. And I kind of want to be there when no one's there. So... We're going to a bridge, and I'm excited. I'm excited. The weather's not too bad, luckily. I thought it was gonna be a lot colder. Cause when I saw 50, I was like, oh great. But there's no wind right now, which is awesome. Yesterday, it was like 19 mile per hour winds, and I was like, <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Today should be perfect. We are gonna be by the coast, though, so it might be a bit windier. However, not mad about it. I'm pretty happy with the weather today. I think we got really, really lucky. Definitely should have gotten gas yesterday. 100%. I have 42 miles to empty and this place is 16 miles away. So after this first stop, if we go anywhere else, I will be getting gas. But I'm okay for now. I've, I've done this before. I'll, I'll be okay for now. Here at location number one. And I'm excited. It's super pretty. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Luckily, we don't have super. That was a bird, which is right by my head. Luckily, the wind isn't super strong. It's at low tide right now. Um, but then again, we're gonna walk down that way, and the wind might 100% be a lot stronger. So we shall see. started the video. Like this is the coolest part. I've had this. This is my college graduation present to myself. My little camera. Let's see it. So that was about, about it's almost three hours. Wow. In the Pitt Street Bridge. Which was super cool. Super stinking windy so that's why I couldn't really talk out there that much. Um, and now we are both going to get gas in our cars because I have 20 miles till empty. 
And then we are going to go, we're gonna try to go on the I to the Ion neighborhood because it's super pretty. Um, see if that works out. Go to downtown Charleston, um, take some pictures. I want to put on my sundress, but we have to see weather-wise if that's going to be a smart decision because I also don't want to be flashing nobody in a very, very windy day. That would be not so fun. So, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll get to talk more on the vlog, but yeah, I'm having a really fun day. And if he moves down here like he said he's going to, then I'm going to be able to do this all the time. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. He's helped multiple different creators do this and make it big. So, yeah. Who knows where I'll be soon. We are at Ion, which is a neighborhood. Super pretty neighborhood. And I want to live here one day. <laughs> I would live here. 100%. Who wouldn't want to live here? my bra shows, but I like this shirt. So I don't know what to do. I can just do one of these. Or I take off my bra. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that on this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what I wanna wear now. I don't know, might put on the dress. It's hot now. Is it actually though? I think it's in like the 70s. 72. But I feel, I guess because it was so cold this morning, it feels hot right now. How high is the, it's a very high UV index. 11 mile per hour wind, that's better than 19 yesterday. Stay in this hat. Nope. Oh. 
So, oh my god, yeah. So this is the shirt, and it's open in the back. If I keep my hair in front, I can technically block my bra. Don't mind my messy car. It was supposed to be in the shop, so all my stuff is there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I failed myself because I should have. I should have brought a tank top. But look how pretty this shirt is. Huh? Hey, look how pretty this is. And it's my bra shows. But like, it's pretty. It's open. Do I stay in this? Do I not stay in this? Do I? I think it shows too much. Look at that vein. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I wanted, I could have worn this one and I steamed this one and then put it in the bag and it's like wrinkly again. Hopefully we get a lot of content though. So, yep. I guess stay tuned and to figure out what I wear next because this is not okay. Okay, I think I'm going with the dress. I figured if I'm gonna go all out, I can go with my dress. Am I white as all get out? Absolutely, absolutely. But you know, if I'm gonna, whatever, it's warm out, I don't have that much longer. I don't know if I can go all the way till sunset. I'm already starting to feel really weird. Um, the one thing about like lupus is like when I'm in the sun, I do lose energy really fast, unfortunately. So, we'll see how right now it goes. There's a lot of people. So, we shall see. Okay, let's do an awkward fit check. So this is my dress. You can't really see it. You can, kind of. In a way. Here's the dress. I haven't worn a dress like this. I don't know if I should say the word ever, maybe, ever. I think I... There we go. I think that was the side. Yep, or the back. I don't know, I could have this. There was no tag. How am I supposed to know what's the best? That is what I'm afraid of. Let's not let that happen. Okay. I think I have... Okay. This should be interesting. I'm keeping my white sneakers on. I'm not putting my boots on. Because if I flash someone right now, I'm so sorry with the wind. Oh, good lord almighty, this might be a very dangerous game I'm playing right now. Okay, okay, let's see how this goes. Well, <laughs> life with an autoimmune, I guess. Um, my leg is just really swollen, especially around my ankle and my calf. So. Can't finish the day like I wanted to, but you know, I'm okay. Better safe than sorry. And at least we got really good pictures on the bridge. And we got some pretty ones in Ion. So I hit two of the places I wanted to go to, which is so good. It's good with me. Now, I don't know if I wanna to go to Costco today or wait. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I think if I work out, I'm just gonna stay in the apartment gym. It's just kind of rough, you know, like when your body's fighting itself. And like things that, like I never used to have problems like this until a couple years ago. So, yeah, 
It's like when did it all go wrong? This is not also not kind of the first way I wanted the vlog to start, but I think what I'm deciding to do is treat today how I would treat tomorrow. Since it's already two o'clock. So I'll probably will stop at Costco. Get what I need to get. Uh, lay by the pool. And I'll go to the gym tomorrow. Instead of resting tomorrow, I'll rest today because my leg's already swollen. I might still like walk and stuff in the apartment gym and maybe do something, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't think, like when I get like this, like usually the gym would be like my happy place, like where I would want to go to be like, yeah, I'm gonna feel better if I work out. But today, today my body just doesn't want to do it. And I kind of have to honor that. Because with between my back and now my leg and like I can feel the heat in my leg. I can feel the swelling in my leg. <sighs> so, yeah. N this is a not so real but semi real day in the life. Because I don't obviously model and do this kind of stuff all the time. So, yeah. Tomorrow, I think I'll record a little bit tomorrow. I might do another vlog tomorrow. But yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. I know it will be. Tomorrow I have church, so it's gonna be a better day. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna let this get to me that much. But I will keep recording little tidbits throughout the rest of the day because this was supposed to be a day in the life vlog, so we'll keep it going. But photo shoot is done for today I can't complain we got like I said we got a lot of pictures I can't complain so just happy to have the opportunity and till next time with that one but not ending here yet we still got more I got more I got to show you today so stay tuned <laughs> just got to Costco so we're gonna go get I just need egg whites and bell peppers and mushrooms so I'll be right back I'm not gonna take my camera into Costco just because well a lot of people so I will see you shortly hello I got home I went and laid by the pool I was gonna read but I just wanted to lay there so I'm feeling a little bit better the only like frustrating factor of this whole thing is like my body doesn't feel like it's my body. And like it's just, it's so annoying because I never had these problems like two years ago, three years ago. Like didn't have these problems, didn't have swelling that I couldn't control, didn't have stomach distension I couldn't control even when I haven't eaten anything. Like I did not have these problems. And it's like, how can a doctor just refuse to help me because, oh yeah, this one m marker out of the 20 markers you don't have, so, no, you're good, like. <sighs> it's so frustrating. So, so frustrating, but you know, I know, and I'm trying to do all the things I can but I swear the medical system nowadays is just, it's so frustrating. And I know I'm not the only one who's frustrated by it. I'm sure there's so many people that go undiagnosed for so long. And it's just, I wanna say it's one of those things, but it's not and it shouldn't be. Because it alters my life. Literally my entire life is encompassed by this thing because one day I'm fine, the next day I'm not fine. One day, I feel like a million bucks. The next day, I feel like Pillsbury Doughboy. One day, I look like I work out. The next day, it's like she looks like she ate at a pasta bar. Like, And I don't know what's triggering me. 
I don't know if my hormones are off now. I don't know. I just don't know. And like what was working for me a month ago isn't working anymore. So what I'm gonna do is control what I can control. So I'm gonna have another serving of greens with my apple cider vinegar and water. Obviously I'm not just gonna do that. But yeah, I'm gonna have another serving of greens I need to have a shake. I haven't really eaten much today. And that's the thing, I haven't really eaten much today. And I'll own that because I've been uncomfortable. My stomach's been swollen. But here's what's cool. And I was reflecting on this as I was walking back to my apartment from the pool is the whole time I was taking photos, I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't. I was just thinking about the moment and the blessing that I have to be able to do what I do. I just want to figure this out, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what, Jess, if you don't, you're gonna have to be okay with it. Because God has given me so much and he's blessed me in so many ways. And one day, he will show me what's going on with me. One day, one doctor will help. One day, someone will figure it out. There's people around me that love me. And... I don't know. I know I'm blessed. I'm grateful for what I have. And on a positive note, my back doesn't hurt that bad anymore. I don't know what I did today. Maybe my body just needed to rest in that department. But yeah, tomorrow I wanna go to the vintage market. I might do that. And then I'll come back, hit a workout at my apartment gym and record my podcast, release my podcast, do all the things. Honestly, right now I need to edit photos and I want to do some things. I might like just bring my desktop and like put it on my island, my kitchen island right now. Cause I don't want to be in that room all by my lonesome. I want to be out in the light with my dogs. So yeah, let's make a shake together. So this is the stuff I use. This is First Form, Formula One, and collagen. Salted caramel flavor, chocolate milkshake flavor. So this is my late lunch snack-ish type meal before dinner. I had some beets earlier. They've been, like this is one of those things that's been helping me, but now it's not helping me. It's helping me with like my digestion and like reducing inflammation, because like beets are a superfood. But, I don't know. Everything I try works for a little bit and then doesn't work anymore. So let's blend her up. Because although I may not be hungry, I know I need to eat something. So I'm gonna eat something that I know doesn't piss off my stomach. So yeah. Okay, watch this, watch this. Look at this. I got thick. It is like, I call it my my Wendy's, at, I call it my Wendy's at home chocolate frosty. And I'm sorry that I keep cutting my head off. I'm getting back into my vlogging swing of things, but like, look at it, look at it. It's my at home chocolate frosty. And if you don't like the blender top, you're lying, we all do it. Don't, don't try to hide like you don't. I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. Look. 
Ready? 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so my counter is a mess. So I'm going to clean some stuff off. And then, oh, I got a new church notebook yesterday. So I need to put this in my bag. And then I need to clean off my counter a little bit. I genuinely am going to get my desktop and bring it out here. Because I want to have the TV on. I want to be around my dogs. And I need to edit some photos. And I want to do some work. I just like don't like isolating myself in the room. I feel like I'm isolating myself. Which begs the question. I feel like I should make that like a legit guest room. Excuse me. <laughs> I feel like I should make that like a legit guest room and then put an office space for myself over there. Because I really just don't like, I don't like not being around. I might do that. I might do that. If anyone is like an interior decorator and has ideas, let me know. Also, I put the link to all my first form stuff in the description. So yeah, you should go get my protein because it's amazing. And this, I can genuinely say, with all of my stomach issues and digestion issues, this protein doesn't hurt my stomach and I'm so grateful. If I didn't have this protein, I probably would be malnourished at this point. So let's clean off the counter and go get my cream. So I did the thing that I said I was gonna do. I brought my computer onto my island. I definitely think I wanna bring it out here permanently. I just have to figure that out because I can sell that desk that I have. I like this height. So if I can get a desk table type thing that's this height, I'll be a happy camper. But I edited my pictures from Phil Wickham and I think this is one of my favorite ones. If it wants to show you it in real color. No? Maybe. It's not that bright on the screen, but that's one of my favorite ones. Now I'm gonna feed the dogs and it is way past my dinner time. It is like an hour past my dinner time, which is, that's fun, it's a fun time. So, I'm gonna end the vlog here today. It's been a interesting day. Didn't think today was gonna go like this, but you know, things happen. At the end of the day, I'm okay, I'll be okay, and I live to fight another day. So, not all bad, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll probably vlog again tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I wanna go to the market, but also wanna work out tomorrow, so maybe I'll just do both. But thanks for watching, and come back, and don't forget to subscribe.